Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode of Daily Quant Dose. This is a series where we are going to do 100 excellent best and selected questions throughout the topics of quantitative aptitude which are on higher side of difficulty. Those questions which are not based on a single concept, there are multiple concepts, right? So that you guys can revise multiple concepts with one single question. So here we are doing the next question of algebra. Beautiful, amazing, lovely question. Uh, the number of integral values of x such that the such that that satisfy mod of x square plus 3x minus 1 less than 2 times of mod x plus 5. We need to understand the question first, guys. Right? Subse pehla step. Koi bhi quantitative aptitude question aapko karna hai. So, kuch bhi karna hai. DILR karna hai. VARC karna hai. The first thing is that you understand the given question. Now, understanding or reading may difference hota hai. Reading means you are simply reading it. Understanding means you, you get to know what actually the question is asking you, right? It says, find out those integral values of x for which a quadratic expression with a mode sign is lesser than 2 times of mode of x plus 5. That's the question, right? Simply reading it in terms of x is, is just reading, right? Understanding and reading both are different. Basically, I'm looking for x ki as integral values jisko ye put karne pe jo value aayega wo value 2 times of mod x plus 5 se kam aana chahiye so you pick any values of x you put it on the left hand side you put it on the right hand side left hand side ka value should be lesser than the value on the right hand side that's the question right now x square plus 3x minus 1 so this is a question which is based on multiple concept iske andar modulus bhi hai inequality bhi hai right and quadratic equation bhi hai so, graph ke concept se aap is question ko solve kar sakte to multiple concepts isme use honge bahut sare topics ka knowledge aapko isme use karna padega aur concepts aapke basics bahut strong hone chahiye if you want to handle a question like this with graph or graph se question easy bahut ho jayega now uh, what we need to do is left hand side agar aap dekho to it's a quadratic expression with a mod now y is equal to x square plus 3x minus 1 if i ask you Draw the graph of this quadratic equation. What will you do? You'll first find out the roots of this equation, right? And it's an upward parabola because coefficient of x square is 1 here. Now, if I want ki iska graph banao, to sabse pehle roots nikaloge. Now, discriminant is greater than 0. I can see that b square minus 4 ac is 13, which is greater than 0. Factorization possible nahi hai. So, iske jo roots banenge. Alpha, beta. Roots of this quadratic equation will be minus b plus minus root b square. 3 ka square minus 4 ac right b that is 13 upon 2 times of a so there are two roots of this one is minus 3 minus root 13 upon 2 and the another root is minus 3 plus root 13 upon 2 right now now guys how will you make the graph of this so I, you can say that the leftmost root would be minus 3 minus root 13 upon 2 and the right root is minus 3 plus root 13 upon 2. If I have to make a graph of it, this is going to be the graph. Now you need to understand what does mod represent here. Mod ka actual meaning kya hota? Mod is something that represents the magnitude part. Mod can never give you a negative value. So output of mod cannot be negative. If you, if I say y is equal to mod of x, if I, if I put x as minus 1, the value of mod of minus 1 will be equal to plus 1. If I put x as 1, the value of y will be mod of 1. That will also be equal to 1. That means whatever you put inside the mod, outside value will never, the output will never be negative. It will always come out to be positive, right? Now, if you look at this whole graph, on the right hand side of this root, the graph is positive. Why? Because this is my x-axis. Any value which is above x-axis is positive. Any value which is below x-axis is negative. Now, you see this. The values between mine, the value which is on the left-hand side of this root is also above x-axis. That is also positive. But all these values which is between these roots, right? You see that between the values of x, if the value of x lies between these two roots, the graph is going to be negative. Now, what will the mode sign do with that? mod will keep the magnitude of aptitude as it is but it will make it positive always right because when i have a minus one dollar the magnitude one yeah but positive sign ke saath aaya so mode ke andar agar main negative dalunga to output hamesha positive aayega positive hai to as it is positive bahar hoga to ye jo expression ye jo sara values hai y ka 
ये एज इट इज अपर साइड पे शिफ्ट हो जाएगा दैट्स अ ग्राफ ऑफ एक्स केयर दैट्स अ ग्राफ ऑफ एक्स केयर प्लस थ्री एक्स माइनस वन गाइज दिस इज द ग्राफ दिस रेड वन इज अ ग्राफ ऑफ रेड इफ आई अप्लाई द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मोड दिस वैल्यू राइट विच आर ऑन द नेगेटिव साइड बिकॉज ऑफ मोड विल नाउ बी शिफ्टेड टू द पॉजिटिव साइड राइट सो फाइनली our graph will look like this right this is our graph of left hand side expression right minus 3 minus root 13 by plus root 13 by now i want ki ye jo expression hai ye jo sara value hai ye same x values ke liye two mod of x plus 5 se chhota hona chahiye now you need to understand the basics of mod what is the graph of y is equal to mod of x it is in the shape of v right why again with the more definition y is equal to x ka jo graph hota hai that is this right this is y is equal to x ka graph but all the negative values of y will be shifted to the positive side because of the mod so ye jo graph hai v shape mein that's a v y is equal to mod x ka graph okay now if i want to multiply if i want to multiply mod x with 2 because question mein two mod x liya hua hai right so if i multiply this With two y is equal to two times of mod x का जो graph होगा, right? वो सिर्फ slope को multiply करेगा, तो graph जो है y-axis की तरफ थोड़ा सा tilt हो जाएगा, right? Will be shifted towards y. ये जो line है, ये this will be more inclined towards y because slope का magnitude बढ़ा दिया आपने. And when you add five to this, five add होने से y का value five up upper side पे shift हो जाएगा. So finally, the graph of this will be y is equal to two times of mod x plus five. So this is the graph of y is equal to two times of mod x plus five. If I draw this graph here, right, you see that finally uh, this is our all graph, right? And y is equal to two x plus five का जो graph होगा वो ऐसे जाएगा. Avoid the scaling, right? Because it's made with a rough hand. So don't look at the scaling. ये थोड़ा सा graph y axis की towards tilt होना चाहिए. इसका slope one से बड़ा है क्योंकि But we just need की इनका point of intersection क्या आएगा Now the next thing that you should know is how to read this graph, right? How to read this graph, right? And you guys can answer the question in fraction of seconds. What you can do is now here, ये जो line है हमारी ये positive side पे है right? So ये जो graph है this is y is equal to 2x plus 5 का graph. इसमें x positive है यहाँ x negative है right? So यहाँ पे this is y is equal to minus 2x plus 5 का graph, right? Now you see that. If you look at these two point of intersection, just concentrate on these two point of intersection, guys. Right? ये point of intersection के right hand side पे आप देखोगे इस point of intersection के right hand side पे जो linear equation है वो quadratic से नीचे की तरफ है, right? Quadratic आपका ऐसे जा रहा है, right? This is your quadratic और ये आपका linear equation. तो linear equation वाला जो right hand side वाली value है 2x plus 5 की वो quadratic से नीचे है. और इस पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन के लेफ्ट हैंड साइड पे अगर आप देखो तो आपका अगेन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन लीनियर इक्वेशन से ऊपर है राइट right? हमें बताना है दो वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स जिसमें ये वाला ग्राफ इसकी वैल्यू इससे ज्यादा होनी चाहिए दैट मींस बिटवीन दीज टू पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन इफ यू लुक एट इन दोनों पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन के बीच में अगर आप देखो तो लीनियर इक्वेशन से जो आउटपुट आएगी वो इस ग्राफ से ऊपर की तरफ आ रही है राइट दैट इज हायर देन दिस राइट so the values of x for which this would be more than this will lie between these two point of intersection now all you have to do is find out those point of intersection wo point of intersection kaise nikaloge what is the point of intersection of this point now i have a quadratic equation x square plus 3x minus 1 point of intersection ka matlab hota hai wo point jis pe dono graph same values ko represent kare that means x square plus 3x minus 1 ka value is same as minus 2x plus 5 ka value x is on the negative side here right so now this is x square plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0 and this is x square plus 3x plus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0 now here this give you the root as minus 3 and minus 2 x into x plus 2 okay now roots are wrong not not plus 3x plus 2x it would be plus 6x minus 5x right it would be x square Plus six x minus x minus six is equal to zero. You take x common. This is x plus six minus x plus six equal to zero. So here you will be having x one and minus six. 
x1 एंड minus x but we are on the negative side of x तो ये वाला जो point of intersection आएगा that would be minus six ये x is equal to minus six is the first point of intersection if you look at on this side here right यहाँ पे right hand side में अगर आप देखो तो x square plus three x minus one का जो value है right that will be equal to two times of x plus five now this is x square plus x minus six is equal to zero यहाँ पे जो पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन आएगा, I'm sure you guys can do the factorization. इसपे जो पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन आएंगे, that would be minus three and two, right? Not not minus three and two, plus three and minus two, right? X square, right? The factorization would be x square plus three x minus two x minus six is equal to zero. Yes, uh, minus three and plus two, right? Minus three and plus two will be the root. तो जो राइट हैंड साइड वाला जो रूट होगा पॉजिटिव साइड पे है तो पॉजिटिव रूट लेना पड़ेगा दैट इज एक्स इक्वल टू प्लस टू आई सी दैट बिटवीन माइनस सिक्स एंड टू द ग्राफ ऑफ द राइट हैंड साइड ग्राफ जो राइट हैंड साइड में जो एक्सप्रेशन है वो जो ग्राफ है वो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड के ग्राफ से ऊपर की तरफ राइट दैट मीन दिस वैल्यू इज हायर देन दिस सो बिटवीन माइनस सिक्स एंड टू हाउ मेनी वैल्यूज आर देयर माइनस फाइव माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो राइट एंड वन टू को नहीं लेना है एक्सट्रीम पॉइंट्स को नहीं लेना है बिकॉज इक्वल नहीं है राइट right? ये इससे लेस होना चाहिए इक्वल नहीं हो सकता तो इक्वल होता तो माइनस सिक्स और टू को भी इंक्लूड करते तो कितने पॉइंट्स हुए वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सो दे आर सेवन सच वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स सेवन इंटीग्रल वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स आर देयर फॉर विच दिस विल ऑलवेज बी ग्रेटर दिस आई सी दैट This whole question was made on multiple concepts. आपको मोड का ग्राफ भी बनाना आना चाहिए पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन निकालने आने चाहिए ग्राफ को रीड करना भी आना चाहिए मोड का लीनियर इक्वेशन वाला ग्राफ भी आना चाहिए क्वाड्रेटिक वाला भी ग्राफ आना चाहिए राइट सो दिस इज एन अमेजिंग क्वेश्चन डूइंग दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन गिव्स यू इन डेफ नॉलेज ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट राइट सो दीज आर द क्वेश्चन विच आर मस्ट फॉर एवरी कैट एक्सपीरियंट वेदर यू प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू और यू प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर कैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री Thank you so much for watching the video, right? And uh, if you are planning to go for An Academy Plus subscription to attend my batches on An Academy, guys, you guys can use the code Samir Dot White. This is the code that will give you the maximum discount on Plus subscription. Samir Dot White is my referral code that you guys can use. And there are two ways uh, uh, to go for Plus uh, uh, to go for An Academy subscription. Either you can go for Plus and you can go for Iconic also. On Plus, you'll be having a digital notes, unlimited access, interactive live sessions, structured courses, and PDFs, and all these benefits. In Iconic, you'll be getting digital and physical notes, GD by VAT preparation included, one-to-one -one live mentorship, and live doubt solving, and these benefits. Right. So some of the benefits are common. Whichever subscription you go for, use my code SMEE.YT. If you use this code, I will personally help you, assist you in your CAT exam preparation throughout the year. You guys can have my mentorship and. Uh, also the access to the content which i will be teaching on the platform if you go for subscription by using the code smee.yt and the benefit additional benefit any batch that you join on an academy you will be getting the structured courses unlimited access to live and recorded classes all the sessions which are happening on the platform you guys can access it 25000 plus practice questions on the platform in class doubt solving every four session of any course is a doubt session so you will be able to solve doubts performance evaluation through 100 plus mock test and mock mentorship from cat experts and i am great thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next part thanks a lot